As medical professionals battle another surge of the COVID-19 virus, many hospitals across Alabama are going into the fall short of those who as far as crucial on the front line. WDHN's Alex Valdez met with officials from Southeast Health where they are bracing for more of a staff shortage amid the current surge of COVID-19 cases. Due to the extra stress, sicker patients, longer work hours, and better pain opportunities, many nurses across the nation are leaving the field in record numbers. The nurses are just tired. Um, they're extremely fatigued. They're emotionally strained. They have seen the impact of this strain and this virus has on not only patients, but families. The University of Alabama at Birmingham projects that hospitalizations across the state could reach 8,000 by the end of the month, which is more than double the peak last winter, which isn't good news for rural hospitals like Southeast Health. That's why they are taking time to prepare now. About reallocating and adjusting our resources to make sure that we can care for our COVID patients. That has meant that we have reduced uh, some of our elective services and shifted that staff over. Each three of the hospital officials tell me this is just not happening here, but across the state. This is why they want every Alabamian to know that this war is nowhere close to being over and to take this time seriously because hospital workers can't take another hit. According to Southeast Health, they manage their vacancies the best way they can. In situations like today's surge of COVID, the best defense they have in this fight is people getting vaccinated so hospital beds don't get filled up. By having our nurses partner up with LPNs that are in the inpatient setting and with patient care assistants and patient care techs, we'll pull staff from non direct patient care positions where we have RNs that are serving in other roles and ask them to step in and help. In Dothan, Alex Valdez, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.